Fire needs three things to burn, heat, fuel, and oxygen. Now, in this particular example, we're gonna keep the fuel, we're gonna keep the heat, we're just gonna remove the oxygen. It's a pretty good strategy, especially if you had like a grease fire, you would put uh, baking soda, because baking soda releases carbon dioxide gas. Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use carbon dioxide gas in kind of a fun way to put out all of the little candles that you see over there. Now, instead of making it hot and releasing uh, the, the carbon dioxide, we're gonna do what every kid likes to do, and that's a little bit of vinegar and baking soda. That's gonna produce bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Now, the cool thing is the glass has some carbon dioxide in there. You just can't see it, and anything worth doing is worth overdoing, so let's make a lot of carbon dioxide gas, and let's see if we can use that carbon dioxide gas to pour over here and to put out the fire. Here we go. All right, carbon dioxide is gonna be generated with baking soda here and vinegar. The whole idea is to make enough carbon dioxide gas to push out all the oxygen. Oh, there it is. You can almost taste the carbon dioxide in the air. There it is. That's what you want. You want it pushing it as much out as you can. I, I think that's gonna be perfect. Let's let it all kind of work its way out. And so that carbon dioxide now is that invisible gas that when we pour it, we're gonna see if we can pour it over those candles and to see if we can put out the candles. All right, you're not gonna see the gas going anywhere other than over the candles like this. So it seems a little strange, but we're pouring invisible gas. You ready? Here we go, tea lights, here we go. And, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, yes. And come on, I just don't want to get, there you go, I don't want to get the liquid on it. There it is, here it is, and there it is. Wait, wait, I got more, I got more, I got more. Bingo. And that is the most clever way I can think of to, maybe I should have just blown out the candles. I'm not sure. It's pretty fun anyway. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your fire extinguishing science minute. Pretty cool.